After the end of World War II, global trade began to return to normal, and now the world has completely entered the information age. China, a once backward country, has made great achievements in science and technology through the unremitting efforts of those Chinese scientific researchers. Now the motherland is developing very rapidly. When the United States saw China's development, it felt that its technological hegemony was threatened. Then the United States suppressed China in response to these things, especially in terms of chips. In the face of the relentless suppression by the United States, will China's chip technology return to its previous peak, and will China's development be forever restricted by others? And China's approach has made the world see the strength of China, and now China has quickly launched a counterattack. The smoke-free duel of the chip war has begun, and China still has the ability to fight back in this duel. Today, China will lead you into how China's scientific research and technology compete with the United States. When the United States first began to suppress Huawei in 2019, China already understood that China must produce its own chips. Only in this way can it be reborn under the suppression of other countries. Careful people will check some information, and after reading the information, they will find that about three quarters of the chips in the world are concentrated in Asia. China has now become the largest chip manufacturer in the world. As long as Chinese chip manufacturers speed up, they will soon be able to occupy the global chip market. Due to China's vast land and abundant resources, it also has great advantages in chips. With the continuous improvement of China's semiconductor industry, the manufacturing level of China's chips has been improved. Now that we have come to the era of technology, mobile phones have become an indispensable necessity in people's daily life. No matter what you do, you only need a mobile phone to complete daily operations. But what everyone doesn't know is that the most important part of the smartphones used in China is the chip. This has made many people understand a truth, only by grasping the technology of chip manufacturing can we grasp the future development. Prior to this, due to major environmental factors, the global chip market encountered a cold peak period and the topic of chip shortage has become one of the most concerned things for people all over the world. Some companies even encountered an economic crisis when chips were cut out, but this crisis may not be a bad thing for China. As of today, China's research in the field of semiconductors is very rapid. After the continuous efforts of these Chinese scientists, they have finally made a breakthrough in semiconductors. In the future, the chips produced in China will go international. In the past few years, China's economy has been developing rapidly, no matter which field is developing very rapidly. China has made full preparations and believes that in the future China will eliminate the US technological hegemony. Not long after the United States promulgated the chip bill, some countries said they were in a chip war. Some people think that China is powerless to fight back, but the actions of the Chinese have deeply slapped these countries in the face. It is believed that more Chinese-made products will appear on the international stage in the near future. The chip is only as big as an ordinary fingernail but there can be a lot of data in this small chip. If you want to manufacture chips, you need very sophisticated technology, and the difficulty of this matter is very high. After Huawei was suppressed, it began to develop its own chips. At that time, the chips designed by Huawei caught up with some developed countries. Huawei's approach made Americans surprised and even restless. Because before this, 
the development of the semiconductor industry in mainland China was still very backward compared to other countries. When Americans saw this situation, they wanted to use chips to restrict China's development. But what the United States did not expect was the rapid rise of Chinese companies after being sanctioned. In the field of chips, Huawei is divided into two steps. In addition to deepening the layout of silicon-based chips, it is also committed to getting rid of the troubles of lithography technology. At present, it has made many achievements in chip stacking technology, superconducting quantum chips, and photonic chip technologies. As long as one of the core technology patents is commercialized on a large scale, you can get rid of ASML's EUV lithography machine. Today's Huawei has turned into peace, and a new scene will usher in 2023. With the strong support of the country and the persistence of Huawei people, the total revenue has stabilized, and Huawei already has full confidence. Those countries and companies that refuse to cooperate will eventually pay the price, and it is essential to pay a large amount of technology patent fees. In recent years, not only Huawei has been researching chips, but Xiaomi has also started research and development in the chip field. In 2014, Xiaomi established a subsidiary company to study official chips belonging to Xiaomi. Until 2017, great progress was made in research and development, allowing Xiaomi to enter the international stage together. Although some of China's technologies are very backward so far, China still has the ability to get out of the current predicament. In recent years, China has made great achievements in the field of chips, and has developed some products that other countries have not yet developed. So far, some technologies in China have been in the leading position in the world. Although it will take some time to apply these technologies to daily life, these technologies will definitely appear in Chinese daily life in the future. Now that China has begun to vigorously support the semiconductor industry, I believe that with the unremitting efforts of these scientists, they will definitely master these core technologies in their own hands.